Something is always happening in Los Angeles, and somehow they always manage to survive it. Earthquakes, riots, and of course the O.J. Simpson trial. But can they survive the subway from hell, the most expensive per mile ever built in the United States? The city of automobiles is getting an underground subway and an above-ground commuter rail. It's all part of a multi-billion dollar effort to reduce bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic and air pollution. And what could be wrong with that? Well, that was what nearly everyone out here thought. And then they began to build it. The project has been plagued by a series of setbacks, not the least of which was a Hollywood opening to end all Hollywood openings. The opening, an unexpected, unplanned, unbelievable collapse. Actually a sinkhole that kept getting bigger and bigger until it was about a half block wide and 85 feet deep. According to this independent analysis, the cave-in was caused by a series of engineering miscalculations which ended up bursting a water main, severing a gas line, and very nearly swallowing up one of the subway's political supporters, L.A. City Councilwoman Jackie Goldberg. She accused project managers of incompetence after they gave her a tour of the sinkhole site and assured her that everything was under control. I, maybe 15, 10 minutes after that, I go out on the street and we all hear this cracking sound and we turn in time to watch another huge chunk of the street give way. While you're standing While we're standing there. And, th you know, these, these uh, industrial-sized dumpsters, a big, huge yeah. blue dumpster just disappears into the sinkhole it was like everybody started laughing i, mean, I have to tell you well, what were you thinking oh You're i was standing thinking there. oh god how much further is it going to go down the dumpster and the sinkhole that ate it were just the latest in a series of calamities along the construction route there have also been underground welding explosions and methane gas fires that in one case leapt from an underground tunnel to an overhead freeway in downtown Los Angeles. There have been misaligned tunnels, concrete walls that in some places were half as thick as required. Whoa, look at that. And then there was the small matter of an underground river four blocks wide that when undiscovered until construction began, delaying mining for seven months while the water, up to 1,000 gallons a minute, was pumped out to sea. Franklin White is the man in charge of the project, the CEO of Los Angeles' MTA, or Metropolitan Transportation Authority. Let me ask you something. With all the problems you've had, as you and I stand here, are we in any danger? We're not in any danger. Are you sure? Absolutely. Meanwhile, tunneling goes forward and cost overruns keep going up, totaling hundreds of millions of dollars. So far, two commuter rail lines and one four-mile leg of the underground subway are up and running. If all else goes according to plan, and not much has, the entire project will cost $15 billion. Now you may say, oh, those poor people of Los Angeles. But you and I have a stake in this, too, because we're paying for half of the underground portion. The federal government, through our taxes, is spending nearly $6 billion on what critics here call the subway from hell. You've had underground fires. You've had gas explosions. You've had a runaway locomotive, misaligned tunnels, and you had this giant cave-in that's how, what, what is it, 400... 4,900 square feet. I thought you'd know. Oh, I absolutely And know. you're telling us this Did is you, not well, a subway from hell? Yeah, I don't believe it is at all. I believe we have done uh, a good job under the circumstances. We'll tell that to the people who live and work above the subway being built under Hollywood's famous Hollywood Boulevard, which looks these days more like an obstacle course than a tourist attraction. Forget the noise. Forget the trucks, forget the detours and block storefronts. This is where tourists come to see the Walk of Fame. But they won't find Groucho Star or Bing Crosby's or even Charlie Chaplin's. Theirs and hundreds of others have been dug up and put in storage. What they will find is a sloping sidewalk where Hollywood Boulevard sank, literally, by nearly a foot. 
This happened before the sinkhole. And how? You guessed it, a basic engineering error, including the substitution of substandard wood wedges for steel supports. How many of you think the MTA is doing a really lousy job? Yeah. These are some of the people who live and work along Hollywood Boulevard. I grew up on the boulevard. They've destroyed it. I've been in Hollywood 35 years. MTA has bankrupt me. The tourists aren't coming. No one, no one will walk down the street under these conditions. Why did they go with wood wedges instead of steel? Well, it's cheaper. Uh, it's faster and wetter. The sinking street caused flooding and cracked sidewalks. Landmark buildings were damaged and scores of shop owners say they lost their businesses. It flashed around the world because this is after all Hollywood. So we had an immediate loss of tourism. Oh really? This is not a small, though this is no joke, this is August, this is the height of our season. And to a Japanese tourist Hollywood sinks means don't go there. And, uh, and that happened. Oh, we had cancellations in all the hotels in Hollywood. It was an economic real disaster. We're going to try to take care of any injury or damage that we cause, but you cannot do this without having some impacts. We used to say in construction, no pain, no gain. By saying it's expected, and it always happens, you seem to be saying it's not your fault. No, absolutely not. Okay. I'm not saying that at all. All right. Is it incompetence that all of this has happened? In some instances, absolutely yes. Your incompetence? I would... We take the blame for the failure of, in, of, of people that we hire, and of course we take the blame for our own failures. But there have been a, a series of things that happened, and we learn from them and we try to fix them. If I were a citizen out here and I heard your answer, I'd say to myself, we're spending more money than has ever been spent on a subway in the history of subway construction. And this guy is telling me he's learning on the job. We make mistakes, we're learning. Where I mean, did shouldn't they expect that when you pay that much money that, that we shouldn't be having all these mistakes? I agree that we should not be having those mistakes. Absolutely agree. I wish these things did not happen to us. But we have got to get better and move on. But White says there are no guarantees. When you build something this complicated, this large, over the span of time that we're building, problems will inevitably occur. So will lawsuits and property claims. So far, more than 3,000 people are seeking a billion dollars in damages. How many of you are actually suing? Oh, come on. Are you serious? You're serious. You're all suing. The MTA blames this contractor, Shea Kiewit Kenny. But critics want to know why the MTA didn't fire them early in the game when Hollywood Boulevard sank a foot. Now, when you and I sit here and tell the public that that same contractor was then responsible for that huge sinkhole, they're not going to believe it. Isn't hindsight wonderful? 